Hey there, YouTube! Whiskey Cactus here, welcoming you back to our Tales of Exilia 2 Let's Play. This is episode number 9, and last time, we met up with some very familiar characters in the city of Duval. And those characters are Rowan and Gaius, which is very interesting. So we are still on the hunt for Mila. But now... Uh-huh, we've heard that a bunch of times. We now have all the people and what is what is Alvin doing in the party and not Elise well, that that needs to change immediately that needs to change immediately get out of here Alvin this party lineup looks very familiar <laughs> let's just let's just make it official and have it exactly the same except for instead of Mila we have Luger but right now Luger is the only one who is permanently necessary in the party everybody else is unnecessary and by that I mean we can leave some of these characters behind. Um, we can choose not to include them. It's kind of how this game works, apparently. We can, um, when we leave town, we have to only select certain characters to go with us to go out on our adventures, and everybody else has to stay behind. Which is an interesting idea. So before we do anything, because we now have all this new stuff, this seems like a good thing to have. I kind of want to bump that up for Luger. She's got a bunch of things to learn on Glacier. I'm okay with that. Spark! Mm, he's got Rising Falcon, but let's see if there's anything better. There might be some better. Ooh. Swallow Dance. What do we got over here? Stalactite. Oh, God. Um, hmm. That's not very good. That is excellent, and I don't really care about Alvin, so let's go ahead and do that. What about you? Sunbeam? That's not really that great. Um, Droplet? No. Pebble? No. Spark? Who's got Spark? Oh, Alvin does. We gave Alvin Spark. Alright, well, we don't really care about Alvin, so is Spark good for at least? Eh, it's not bad. Soot? No. Stalactite? Oh, jeez. Lightning Bolt's good for everybody. Glacier. Alright, what does she currently have? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we go with Breeze. Yeah, let's give her Breeze. That should be fine. And these I care a little bit less about because I don't really plan on using Alvin and uh, Rowan that much. But uh, that seems pretty good for Alvin. <laughs> and that does not seem very good for Rowan. Uh, stalactite, Severed Fate. Where he could get s boost from Splash and Vitality. Severed Fate and Dexterity. Uh, let's go Droplet. Okay. That all seems okay. Let's take a look at skills. What can we do with skills? We can't really do much. I know we did a good bit of this last time. And some of these characters probably don't have very much in the way, but we do have Elise. Okay, so Elise can get all this good stuff. That's good. Solid guard? Yeah. HP gain? She doesn't have enough. All right, that's fine. You need to get all these. Um, hmm. Hmm. We'll save it. Alright, cool. So I think we're good to go. I can't remember what we were in the middle of doing as far as, like, side events. Say I'm a bit fascinated by this rather frightening version of myself that you have encountered. I cannot say for sure, but I do believe the spirit arts were used to make it. Interesting. Oh, hello. So, you're friends with his highness? Uh, yeah, we are. And so we met with Gaius, and he's still, like, king of everything, which is still kind of, like, I'm not okay with that. I'd, I know that we're, like, just supposed to be cool with that. And I know if you if you saw my first Tales of Exilia Let's Play, which you should have. If you haven't, then please go back and do that. I don't know why you're watching Tales of Exilia 2 without having seen Tales of Exilia 1, but... Um, you would know my feelings about Gaius, and I, I think he is not that great of a character, and I don't understand why we're cool with just letting him be king of everything. But, uh, okay. Indeed I am. 
I serve at King Gaius' side as his prime minister. Prime minister. What's that? He's sort of like the king's regent. Interesting. That makes two guy in all of Riza Maxia. The king's regent. But in fairy tales, the regent's always the villain. Mm. Hey, you're right. They're always secretly trying to steal the kingdom or mess with the king. How could a mere child see through my ambitions? Oh dear. Huh? It's true. As you've suspected, I derive great pleasure from toppling kings. I mean, you did kill Noctical. I remove their pawns one by one. Well, not one technically. As my loyal knights advance from the sides to flank them. We have to warn his highness. Uh-huh. Honestly, let's go Rowan. Of course <laughs> I'm talking about chess. Of course. What? The <laughs> regions really are mean. Rowan is pretty much always like this. You don't say. Oh, we got more stuff. What up? It's interesting taking a step back and looking at everyone. You mean how everybody's wearing different clothes? Is that where you're, that where you're going with it, given the title of this skit? I can see some things have changed and some haven't. Speaking of changes, I see you've grown a beard. Ah, you noticed that, did you? Not bad, eh? Uh-oh. Uh, Rowan still has you beat. A perceptive comment. No beard stands above my own. I mean, to be fair. To be fair. Rowan's beard is ridiculous. He's got a mustache and a beard, and both go up to the sideburns, but separately? Which is out of control. That is just absolutely absurd. It's not even close. Alvin's looks kind of shabby. Hey now, the word you're looking for is Ogish. You're a little too young to appreciate that sort of thing. Indeed. So, what inspired you to grow a beard, Alvin? Well, there were a number of factors. But for the most part, I thought it was time to start trying new things. Like what? Like anything. You only live once, right? Really? You gotta do the things you want while you can. Really? You're, you're gonna throw that YOLO out there, Alvin? That's what you're gonna do? Hmm. That's a more juvenile reason than I was expecting. It would have been more fun if you decided to wear a disguise or something. That way we wouldn't have to look at your face. <sighs> what exactly is it gonna take to satisfy these two? Oh my god, what up? <laughs> okay, you're creeping me out. Do you have a question about Tipo? Um... What is he? He's a booster. Tifo is Tifo, a lovable friend to all. Also a booster. That's a lie. There aren't <laughs> any animals that look like you, and if there were, they still couldn't talk. L does not believe in Santa Claus. Tifo is actually a mana amplifying device known as a booster. It's because of Tifo that Elise is able to cast such powerful spirit arts. It makes her stronger than even a normal adult. So you guys are running a scam. Ooh. Uh, scam? You want to be a grown-up, right? Like, real bad? So you have Tebow help you cheat at spirit stuff. Don't worry, though. I won't tell anyone. Jesus. Elle is, like, all over the fucking... Man. Uh, thanks? <laughs> Drinking the haterade today. You shouldn't snitch on her either, okay, Jude? Uh, right. It's pretty big of me to cover for you like this, huh? Oh my god. You can thank me later. <laughs> now who's pulling a scam? <laughs> wow. Okay. Well then, let's see if we can find our other party members. Because that's a thing that happens in this game. We have our party members separate in town. And there may be side events. So like, if we find one of our party members who's like got an exclamation point over their head then we could potentially initiate a side event with them. I don't want to miss out on that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, walk around Duval a little bit. Oh, hey, Gaius, what up? Oh, it's Alvin. Never mind. <laughs> For a minute, I thought that was Gaius. He's dressed very similar. Man, sales this month are worse than ever. What am I going to do? I, I don't really care, dude. 
case you couldn't tell, I'm not the biggest Alvin fan either. Oh, we have Leia over here too, and she's not doing, she's not saying much either. This is disappointing. I really wish there was more with the party breaking up in town and you getting to talk to people. Like, that would be way cooler if there was a lot more going on. I see Tipo. What? 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 Oh, there's a... <laughs> okay. Hi, Elise. You just kind of appeared out of thin air there. I thought it was just Tipo hanging around. With Rowan on your side, you'll have a hundred times the strength you normally would alone. Add me and you'll have a hundred and one times, plus Tipo power. Yeah, well... I do plan on having you in the party, at least. I think Jude's usually over here somewhere. Maybe Jude's not. Well, everybody's technically in the party still. So now where, where are we going? We need to, oh, we need to make a payment. Okay. So that just means I have to do busy work for another episode. Great. We are never going to finish this game, guys. If you think six months... Um, for the first Exilia was long. Good God. This game's gonna take absolutely forever. How are we doing with our jobs? Like, what's what do we currently have? Do we have... We currently have five jobs, and none of them are fulfilled. We have to go to the Tatalian Abyss, and the Torbalan, and the Roussel High Road. Okay, so we can do the Torbalan High Road. Um, and... The Roussel High Road, and then on our way through the Roussel High Road, we can get to the Italian Abyss. I would imagine, and I think I'm gonna try to do Veywind Eye, because I would, I would think at this point that it's not going to give us the option to do it if it's that overpowered. So it's probably not that difficult. So let's go to Triglyph. I'm in Triglyph. Now, what I don't know is I don't know if my party's gonna split up here also. So let's just kind of wander and take a look. Oh, I also gotta do Kitty Dispatch. How are we doing with that? We got some stuff. Where else can we go? Alright, let's see if we can finish off Triglyph. Good luck. Cool. Alright. So has my party split up at all? Any of my party members hanging around this town by the corner? You're an animal. Oh, you're birds. Okay, never mind. Thought you might have been a cat for a second. What are you guys doing? Or what are you doing? Specifically, you. What what's your deal? Julius' squad member. Rideau definitely has quite an impressive track record. There's something shady about how much he's done versus how old he really is. Even more shady than Julius. Okay, well. I don't disagree. I just wonder why you're punching the air. What did the air do to you? Alright, anybody from my party hanging around? Yes, yeah, see Jude's over here. Alright, so, to me that means there might be other party members hanging around. I would hope they're all outside and not, you know, inside places. That would be kind of annoying. I would not like to have to seek them all out, like, inside the apartments and stuff. Let's see, I know Elise was hanging around somewhere over here before, I think, wasn't she? Yeah, she's over here. Lottie Sea Haven. Um, right, yeah, make a payment on the debt. So we gotta complete some jobs. So let's do some jobs. So yeah, now we're taking, if I'm not mistaken, we just have these four. Yeah. So we left Rowan and we left um, Alvin in the city, in the town. Which is interesting, because my guess is they're probably not going to get experience. Oh, I don't like that. 
That's very Star Ocean. And I was not a fan of that in Star Ocean. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. That's my guess, anyway. My guess is that they're not going to get experience. But we have to kill some of these cats. So, let's just do it. Alright, so we're still linked with Leia. Oh, I'm still using the sledgehammer. Alright. Whether I need to be using a sledgehammer or not. Or whether I want to be using a sledgehammer or not. We're currently using a sledgehammer. Let's see how that goes. I mean, I'm kicking their asses, but they're also really... <coughs> excuse me. They're also really weak enemies at this point, so... That should be enough, right? Yeah. Alright, so now we have to head to the Tatalian Abyss. So I will meet you when I get there, because it's it, that's quite a, quite a distance away. This is getting ridiculous. Uh, we do have to kill some chirpies, so let's kill some chirpies. Hello. Bye. Let's kill some chirpies. Hopefully there's two. There we go. Fantastic. Man, we do a lot of cool stuff with uh, with the sledgehammer, anyway. I do indeed get things done. You damn right. All right. So we finished that, and I did find out that we can keep track of our jobs in our event list, which makes sense. So we have the Italian Abyss up here. Now this was an entire bonus dungeon in the past. Not really sure what it's going to be now. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to our library event list. <coughs> Excuse me. Jobs. So we have four lizard men and five blade beaks. So let's do that. We got some blade beaks. Let's fight them. Now we got some lizard men too. I want to change my weapon. Forget how to do that. Now I'm gonna. We're gonna die. This is bad. We already did die. Oh shit. Okay. We can't be here. We can't be here. Never mind all of that. Never mind all of that. Okay, so, new strategy. We're gonna have to surrender these jo oops. Surrender these jobs. We gotta stop and patch them up. And figure something else out. Because that is not gonna be a way to do things. So I oh, I will meet you back in Triglef because we're not doing that. Okay, so I'm thinking at this point. Maybe we can sell some of the things that we've collected from town, like from outside, you know, in the sparkly crystals and stuff. Like, since we can't expand shops, let's just sell this stuff, like my iron sands and my... I don't know if... It's worth 500, like, so, you know, this is worth 650 bucks. Like, it's so common. I kind of feel like it's stupid not to just sell all this stuff. Right? I mean, it seems that way. It's so much beast dung and rotten bones and beautiful feathers and stuff, like, why not just sell it? Land crab? I have four scorpion tails. They're worth a lot. I don't know if I should hold on to them or not. The whiskey's worth some money. Moonlight Bourbon's worth a lot of money. So let's see. Let's just sell some of this stuff. So now we have some money. Yeah, and now they're going to make me... Sure. 
Let's do that. We've made our payment. Uh, you can stop being a loan shark. Nova here with the latest and greatest. You are now free to travel as far as Aladdin Sea Haven. Perfect. You keep making those payments, and we keep unlocking Sea Haven. Go forth, hardy men folk, and conquer the sea. What about the women folk? Talks like I'm not even here. Yeah. I guess that's kind of sexist, isn't it? Yeah. You go forth too, hardy woman folk, and conquer the sea as well. She heard me. Oh, I've never been to sea before. That's kind of not true. Seriously? You gotta check it out. What about that cutscene at the beginning of the game? The sea is awesome. It's so big and large and grand. Luger, let's go conquer the sea. Yeah, let's do that real quick. <coughs> All right. So we do have a couple of, oh, okay. It's fun taking a step back and looking at everyone. Some things have changed and some haven't. You've certainly had a big change, Elise. You're going to school now, right? Do you like it? I do, and I really like the uniform. Uniforms? School? Your uniform's really cute. But I've always been more the pants type myself. Mm-hmm. That's why you wore a dress in the entire first game. They're so much easier to move in than skirts. So what side are you on, Luger? Team pants or team skirts? Well, I like Leia better. So I'm gonna choose team pants. I know, right? It's all about mobility. But... but aren't skirts cuter? I am not Roy Mustang. That is Gaius. Gaius is Roy Mustang, so he likes the mini skirts. I am Luger. Yeah, but then you have air blowing through your legs. Oh, Els, you're still such a child. That's the best part. <laughs> oh, that's a bold assertion. Just remember, Tipo says what Elise is thinking. I gotta find my notepad. <laughs> Wait, that was off the record. <laughs> the paparazzi are everywhere. I love it. All right, let's. We have a couple of jobs to turn in. So we can do these two. Can I, oh I can't, well can I can't, abort job, there we go. Now I don't know if I abort the job, if that's gonna mean that it's gone forever. That I don't know. Um, get rid of the cats. Residential quarter, deliver the, do something about the cats hanging around my apartment. Interesting. Kitty sighting, Zagat Flood Meadow. Are we going to be able to get to that from Alati Sea Haven? I don't even know if we can. Uh, what do we got here? Veggie set? All right. Oh, God, that's scary. That's Italian Abyss. Oh, we have one of those. We could do that. Cool. Um, oh, Alice High Road. Really? More of that crap? Let's do this one. Uh, you got to be kidding me. This is dumb. This is just dumb. We did these! And they're just, they're you're just making me do them again? I mean, like, okay, it's fine that I can just keep doing those over and over again to get this, to get more rewards, but it's, it's just so, like, it just feels like a waste of time. I don't know. That's the one thing I don't like. But let's take this. Triglef Residential Quarter. Do something about the cats hang, hanging around my apartment. Let's see if we can do something about that, and then I promise we'll go to Aladi Sea Haven. I promise we will go to Aladi Sea Haven right after that. I'm not going to take any more jobs. But I do have to rest at the end, because my party is whooped. Oh, is it you? The cat is taking up space in the middle of the hallway and won't even budge. It's such a problem. Okay. Where's this cat? Hello, cat. I really don't see the problem here. We got Malik. Yo, I wasn't even paying attention. Are all of these cats named after Tails characters? I just thought of that with Malik. Who are my kitties? Carol, Suzu, Winnie, never mind. 
Luke. Oh, and he looks like him too. That's funny. Brownie, Narcissus, York. I, I, it's probably not all of them, but I bet you a few of these cats are named after Tails characters. We got Luke and Malik. Those are definitely both Tails characters. Oh, hello. I caught the cat. You moved the nuisance out of the way. What a relief. Must be some way I can repay you. If only all cats were as well behaved as little Rollo here. Though from what I hear, your brother Julius hasn't been so well behaved himself lately. Uh Meow. Don't worry, I'm not gonna kick you out or anything. I've seen you two kids struggle and try to make the best out of your lives. You kids didn't have it so easy. Well, your brother always had those girls over. Uh oh. I'm sure that made things a little easier for him. Uh yeah. Ow! I remember seeing you out on the swings at the park every evening at sunset. You'd always sit and wait for your brother to get home from school. Guess if he came home now, he'd just get arrested, though. Ugh. Ow. I'll just keep your chin up. Times are tough everywhere these days. Hell, <laughs> you're not wrong. I want the best for you kids. You're like family to me, you know what I mean? Er, you know that, right? What the fuck? I mean, as long as you pay your rent on time, that is. Oh. Oh, there's the caveat. <coughs> All right. Well, we got some good stuff. We got our kitty back. One of these days, I'm going to get the last thing here. One of these days. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going... Yeah, we don't have much health. So we are going to turn in this job report. And then we are going to go ahead and head off to a Lottie Sea Haven. We got the mind ring. That's kind of cool. Let's go to a Lottie Sea Haven. How do we get there? I guess we go through the port, right? That'd be my guess. I can't imagine we'd be able to take a train there. Stand here all day. Let me rest at the inn while we're here. Just so I'm recovered. 300 gold? That's expensive. Don't forget. Money is difficult to come by in this game. That's not true. It's not difficult to come by. It's difficult to hold on to. It's difficult to keep money. Alright. So every time you make any amount of money, Nova pops up and is like, Hey! Time to pay up! This is not how we get to a Lottie Sea Haven? Oh! Marksburg! Okay! We need fast travel. <laughs> we desperately need fast travel. Oh, good lord. Alright, well, that means we have to go... I love how Tipo loads immediately, but Elise does not. Alright, so we have to go this way, and get on the train, go to Marksburg, and get on a ship, and then go to a Lottie Sea Haven. Holy god. Oh, oh! Oh! What up, Leia? I know I said, I know I said that we were going to go to a Lottie Sea Haven. I know I said that. But, it's Best Girl, and as her bonus story, we're doing it. Don't give a shit. We are, in fact, doing it. Leia's mission, Leia Chapter 1. Oh, hey, Luger. Oh, hey, Leia. What up? You know what? If Jude is not gonna, like, take the opportunity, fuck it. Move over, Jude. Luger's here. What's up? Got some juicy news you're just dying to share? Maybe. You'll have to forgive Leia. She's become a raging scoopaholic. You know what? I kind of feel like she always was. I wouldn't be surprised if she mugged me just to get a story in the crime blotter. <laughs> oh, come on, stop it already. Oh, Chief. Are you chasing down a hot tip? Reporter Leia Rolando would be happy to help. Um, no. <laughs> Shut right the fuck down. <laughs> How else will I learn? Oh, what you got? Very well. Take this to the station. Okay. Uh, Chief? I'm sure you're ready for a simple errand. Off with you now. Chop, chop. Oh, did you get a chance to look at that story I turned in yesterday? 
D minus. Oh, what a harsh critic. The newspaper is not a diary for your rambling opinions. No comment. Next time, try having a point. What were you writing about anyway? Unemployment, the environment, corruption, culture. All of those sound like good things to write to write about. You can't just write about whatever pops into your head. You need to excuse the fuck out of me. I need to do what? Figure it out for yourself. I'm going for a walk. See you later. I hate this. So guy. that's Leia's boss. I hate this guy very much. Um, what a hard ass. Seems like hmm. How about? Man, what a hard ass. He's nice enough outside of work, but boy is he a tough editor. Any little flaw in your story and he'll tear it apart. But he's a world-class writer. When you read one of his pieces, it's like the whole story unfolds in your mind. That doesn't give you license to be a jackass. I would kill to have half his skill. So that's why you were trying to tag along with him? The man works so quickly, I've never seen how he does it. I thought this could be my chance. Well, guess I better get this to the station. Oh, we're going with you. Why don't we tag along, shall we? We shall. Thanks. Okay, let's get this done. We certainly shall. All right, so I'm going to guess. Well, I'm going to, yeah, we have Luger, we have Leia, and actually Alvin is also required for this, too. And then everybody else is optional. Okay, does that, now does that mean we have to have Alvin in the party? It does. Interesting. Okay, that's good to know. Leia's male. Listen, Leia, I'm always happy to get texts from you, but... Oh, right, they have phones now. What's up? You sound serious. Hmm? Enough with the emoticons already. I can barely even figure out what your messages are about. Oh, please. Don't be a fucking stick in the mud. And what's with this creepy frog picture you sent over? How the <laughs> hell is that supposed to look like me? <laughs> is that... <laughs> that could be so many different things. That could be referencing so many different things. Is that Dat Boy or is that uh, Feels Bad Man or something like that? Pepe? make texting cute and fun you know what you're right and the frog has those morose little eyes that made me think of you it's definitely pepe <laughs> get with it alan you can't communicate without emoticons these days damn right you can't be serious i am totally serious see Luger gets it. Luger does get it. If there's something you can't quite put into words, you can convey it with an emoticon. Hmm. Got any examples? Upside down face. Well, like, when you're bummed out. Or, you know, psyched up about something. You can't convey those in words? And you're a journalist? Ooh. Ooh. No, good play. I mean, I could, <laughs> but emoticons are cuter. Not a bad play, actually. It makes your mail all lively and fun. It makes the recipient happy to read it. Maybe that's true when normal people use them, but your messages are so packed with emoticons it looks like some sort of facial expression cipher. Have some pity for the guy who has to decode them. Oh, fine. I'll be more careful. Great work out there. Today was another tough one, huh? You know, there's nothing I love more than a hard worker. So here, I got this for you. Cool! Affinity with Leia increased. And we got a skill tome. Gold digger. <laughs> See, the thing is... The thing is... We have to go to the station, right? Yeah. Um... Anytime Leia and Alvin are in an argument, I feel like Leia always wins because all she has to do is say, Remember that time you shot me? And then, what the fuck could he possibly say in response? No, I will not let that go. <laughs> Who are we delivering this to? Oh, you. Okay. Excuse me. I'm from the Daily Triglav. Ah, uh, yes. You have it then? I do have it. 
You that new girl they hired? Yep, that's me. Huh. And you're from Rizamaxia, right? Damn right. Laron, to be exact. So you guys just borrow power from spirits whenever you need anything? Kinda. Well, yeah, I guess you could say that. Like, if you get diarrhea or something. You okay. You need to pray to the spirits or perform rituals to get better? Why is that where you immediately go? Um... <laughs> you don't have to worry about that here. Our healthcare system is second to none. If you ever get the trots or anything, oh my god. let us know. Oh my god, what is happening? What is actually happening? Sorry, that kind of shook me up. <laughs> you think he was trying to be rude? What was it? Do you think he was trying to be rude? I don't think so, no, but that just makes it that much harder to deal with. It sounds like stories of Rizamaxian spirit worship get pretty mangled when they come over. He was a creep. If you let every Olympian misconception bug you, you'll grind your teeth down to the gums. I know. I guess I just get irritable when I'm hungry. Yeah, who doesn't? You're hungry? Let's just get this back to the chief. He said he was going for a walk. He's probably still somewhere around town. Alright. Well, I guess that means we gotta find him. Oh, man. I'm so hungry. A bar would probably be our best bet to get a bite around here. What do you think? Makes sense. Why are we doing this again? Can't you just use your GHS to call your editor? Even if I called, he'd never answer. Finding him on the street is our only shot. Fair enough, but you said we need to go to the bar. So let's go to the bar. I would imagine he's probably at the bar, if that's the case. <clears throat> so we need to go to the bar, and to my knowledge, the bar is in the inn. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. We the, oh, there we are. That's not the guy, though. Okay, whatever. I'll bite. What up? Welcome. You've got mail. We're just about to start serving lunch. What can I get you? Whatever Leia wants. Oh god. The ripe tomato pasta, the homemade Mabo curry. Um Mabo curry? Very good, sir. Cause we know L doesn't like tomatoes. Huh? You're ordering lunch? You said you were hungry. Is that because I said I was hungry earlier? Yes, of course. Oh, that's sweet. Mm. You're too late, Jude. You're too late. Luger's got it. Your meal's coming right up. Feel free to sit wherever you like. That hit the spot. I was ready to eat my shoe. Ah, uh, good to see you back on your old self again. I thought it tasted kind of funny. No, good to see you back your old self again. Why would I be mean? Yeah, I guess I needed that. You can't do good work if you're out of fuel. Sorry if I got weird on you earlier. I'm totally okay now. Sometimes things just don't work out, no matter how hard you try. But that's no excuse for giving up on what you can do. Okay, Lloyd. And let's face it. Enthusiasm is pretty much my greatest quality. You're if not I wrong. give up on that, <laughs> I got nothing. Okay, now that you've refueled, let's finish your errand already. Okay. So, I guess, was this just extra? I thought this was where he was gonna be, because they said she was hungry, let's go to the bar. Uh, so I figured... That was great. I can't wait to go back. You just ate, and you're already thinking of going back? I, I see no problem with that at all. Um, so I just, I figured that's where he was going to be. I guess that, I guess that's not true. Maybe that was just the bonus thing. Dunno. Let's just see one thing, though. What's our affinity look like with Leia? Oh, we got a heart. We're still high, highest with Jude, obviously, because we've had Jude forever. But we have a heart with Leia, that's cool. I'm a fan. 
I don't know what that's going to do. I don't know if that's going to change scenes at all later. I don't know if it works like um, Symphonia, where we have a specific relationship character that we get scenes with later on in the game. Um, it'd be kind of cool if it did. But I have no idea where this dude's going to be. So maybe I will cut until I find him. I think that would probably be the best use of everyone's time. So I will meet you once I've found the editor. Aha! Here he is. That took literally two seconds. You are right here. What up, dude? I'm back now, Chief. Hmm. Oh, fuck you, dude. Researching something? I'll help. Tell me something. Why do we do extensive research? Uh, in order to write articles for the newspaper? In order to uncover the truth. Okay, then. And what do those newspaper articles require? The truth. Um, well, speed? Wait, no. Maybe accuracy? The station agent you gave the documents to is kind of a creepy fellow, right? Very much. Say you were writing an article about him. You think all you'd need is speed and accuracy? If you don't know the answer, you might as well give up. Characters like him piss me off. Um... So what exactly was he trying to say? You got me. Is that his idea of advice, or was he just being a jerk? I yeah. Wonder. It's weird to say this, but that was actually the longest conversation he's ever had with me about the job. It's gotta mean something. Anyway, he said I should give up trying to be a reporter if I didn't know the answer. Which means if I learn the answer, I can be a reporter! That's Good logic. Look at it. <laughs> All right, I'll figure it out. Good but logic. First, I owe you one, Luger. Whenever you need help with your gig, just let me know. Not at all. Thanks for everything today, guys. Not at all, Leia. You don't owe me anything. It was my pleasure. All right. Oh, we got uh, something for Leia. Color variation. Was uh, I guess that's for um, equipment or for attachments. Or something? Is that was that a tie? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, she pink. Good lord. I think I'm gonna go with this, and I'm gonna remove the hat. Let's go with that. Let's see how that goes. We have Rowan spectacles also. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, God. It's like the first game all over again. Putting glasses on all the characters. All right. What do we do now? I guess we go, we finally, <laughs> we can finally go to uh, Marksburg and go to Alati Sea Haven. So maybe, maybe, We'll do that. I don't think we're going to do much of that this episode, but we can at the very least get to Alati Sea Haven and see if there's any, like, triggering cutscenes or whatever, and then we can go ahead and save and end off. I think that's a good idea. So we have to go to Marksburg, and we have to take a boat. All right, so here we are. Let's figure out where we can take a boat. Oh, hello. Something's changed. Marksburg seems like a pretty nice city. It does. Yeah, it's like a bridge between Olympias and Rizamaxia. Not just literally, but metaphorically, you know? I do know. A year ago, I'd never have believed this could exist at all. Isn't it amazing how much our actions can change the future? Especially when you're in a video game and things like that actually happen. Speaking of which, it's amazing how much Jude's changed. Hmm. Huh? Me? Look at your hair. Suddenly you're all trendy. Exploring your sexy side, are you, Jude? Oh, dear. Sexy? Rowan, come <laughs> on. It doesn't have anything to do with that. So, 
What prompted it? I just like to try something different now and then. Oh, really? In other words... Exploring your sexy side. <laughs> I... I guess. Oh, God. Alright. Oh. Oh, Rowan. Okay, are they all gonna say the same things? No, they say different things. Oh. Alright, well, I kind of feel like I should search them out then, so give me a second. I will do that. Oh dear. Stop right there, folks. You want to learn about custom orders, right? Do I? Uh, don't answer. Unless that answer is yes. I did not expect this. I don't know what this is about. Try once and you'll get hooked. I'll give you the materials and everything. Don't be so pushy. Hmm. <laughs> oh god, what did I stumble into? Oh. Game mechanics. Okay, by procuring the ne necessary gall, the materials required, you can get special items made for you. Oh. Oh, so instead of... Okay. Instead of expanding the shops, this is probably what these uh, materials do now, right? Go to a new town, visit the shops. Their own custom order items will be registered to the menu. Okay. Items that have been registered to your list from one shop can be ordered from any shop. That's awesome. Once you're able to visit more locales, you should be sure to stop by new towns and check out the shops there. Custom order menu. Cool. I'm not going to do that now, but that's cool. I'm glad we decided to come this way. Although I think we had to go this way anyway. So we were bound to run into that. Um, <clears throat> Rolo, we're gonna ride on a boat. We are going to ride on a boat. I even have my nautical theme Pashmina Afghan. God, really? Ten year old reference? Really? <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of content you can expect from Whiskey Cactus, let me tell you. Ten year old fucking YouTube video references. SNL skit references. Alright, do we have any other characters hanging around. We had Elise, we had Rowan. I didn't see anybody else. I don't see Alvin, I don't see Leia, I don't see Jude anywhere. I'm gonna just... Rolo, are you afraid of boats? I guess. <laughs> no answer to that question. Alright, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's go over here and see what's up. We are headed to Aladi Sea Haven. We are ready to depart. Bon... Voyage. We are now able to go to Rize Maxia. Lies beyond the ocean, you can act freely in some of the areas there, including Aladi Sea Haven. More character stories may occur in towns of Rize Maxia too, so be sure to explore wherever you can. Cool. I am all about that. I imagine we're gonna get a cutscene. Hey, you're all okay. It's the oh hey, it's you. I'm Jolene, remember? I just feel horrible about what happened. What happened? I don't suppose I could bribe my way back into your good graces. Refresh my memory. What did you do that was bad? I don't remember you doing anything bad, honestly. What are these? Winged boots. Just a little something something to lighten your load and make you love me again. Oh god, does that mean we can run faster? What are you talking about? She looks so good in that pink with the glasses and the- Oh my god, she's got the librarian thing going on. Good lord. <laughs> a star reporter like you ought to be able to figure it out. By the way, an agent from Spurious is staying at the inn here. Toodles! Does everybody say toodles in this world? Maybe she should be a reporter. Now dash, holding down R2 while moving. You can move quickly, but it's hard to turn on a dime when doing so. If you dash into an enemy, you will start the battle surround. Oh, and one more thing. You can go to some areas in Rize Maxia from Aladi Sea Haven at this point by going to new towns. New events with your party members may occur and you can buy new equipment too. Oh my God, it's more open world. I love it. I love it guys, it's great. This is very different music for the Sea Haven, also. We okay. Huh? You okay there, Rolo? 
doesn't sound that okay. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to end off the episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And make sure that you are subscribed for more Tales of Exilia 2. Next time we are going to explore a lot of Sea Haven. Um, see what's going on and see if there's any other places we can go and any other side stories we can do. Because I am all about that life. I want to do all the side events if I can. I'm not professing to be trying to 100% this game. But bonus things like that are really cool, and I want to try to do as many as I can. So, I hope you're excited for that. I know I am. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.